Hi everyone, this is Chaz and this is my video journal for Saturday, July 14th, 2012. In my last video journal I mentioned that today was possibly going to be a very difficult day um, and uh, it's, uh, that I would describe the significance of the day and I'm going to do that. I just uh, want to talk a little bit about the past couple days I've had. The um, past couple days have been a lot I've been crying a lot still. Um, wish I could get it to stop, but it'll stop in its own time. Um, yesterday was particularly bad. Um, even though I didn't have the day off, I worked yesterday from 2 to 10. Um, I still managed to find time to brood. Um, managed to find time to focus on what I'd lost. Even though I'm trying to you know, forge ahead with school and with uh, moving and all that other stuff, it's still very hard to realize exactly how badly I've screwed up and what it's cost me. And today that particular feeling is even stronger. Because five years ago today, David and I stood in a circle of our friends and our family, well, some family, mostly mine, uh, friends, a few, more than a few total strangers. Uh, we just stood in the circle in Terra Grove Park, and there in front of our friend Janet Schmidt, who officiated, we pledged our love and our devotion to each other. Our hands were, were tied together. Our we said our vows, we exchanged rings, and five years ago today, I pledged to love and be devoted to David until the end of our forever. And it just really hurts me to think that our forever has ended. To look at where I wore that ring for nearly five years to look at my finger and see that it's not there. To know that on this day on our what amounts to kind of our wedding anniversary. I mean we we never actually really celebrated this as uh, our anniversary. Our anniversary has always been celebrated on February 1st, the day we met. but. You know, this is our wedding anniversary. This is the day that we stood up in front of the universe and our friends and our family and God and made a public statement of love and devotion and commitment to each other. And now, five years later, he's gone. And on a day like on a day like today, it really hurts because I want to go back five years and have that relationship again. If I could go back those five years and know what I know now, and maybe things would be different. I don't know. I, I, I play the what-if game a lot. But it's our anniversary. Or would have been our anniversary, I guess. Although we haven't had a divorce ceremony or anything like that. I mean, it is over, I guess. Just... I remember standing there with him in the park and looking at him in awe and wonder and knowing that this was the man that I wanted to spend every moment of the rest of my life with. I mean, he still is the man, at least right now, that I want to spend every moment of the rest of my life with. Maybe someday I'll be able to move on from that, but today is not that day. Um, it's 
going to be a rough few days because I've got the next three days off. I don't work again until Tuesday. So there's a potential of more you know, brooding, um, you know, unless I have any friends or anything or family members or anyone who wants to come down and rescue me from from this hell. Uh, but the only thing I really need to do is go to the grocery store. I suppose I could do some housework, although I've been keeping up with that fairly well. At least I think I have. May not be up to Martha Stewart standards, but you know I'm not living in squalor. Excuse me, I wipe the tears away. Um, I think what else? Uh, so that's about it. You know, th today's a bad day because it is my wedding anniversary, or would be would be my an wedding anniversary. Um, and five years is kind of a significant year half a decade of, you know, since we said I do. And I, I just, I miss him. I miss you. David, if you're watching, I miss you very much. I miss looking at my hand and seeing the ring that had your birthstone in the center of the heart and knowing what that meant to me. But then, you know, it was my fault for giving, being the first one to give the ring back. Perhaps if I hadn't done that, perhaps if I hadn't made that visual symbol of, of, of finality, of, of ending, maybe you wouldn't have thought of, thought to completely end the relationship. If I had just taken that week and just gone to my mom's just so that we could have a little bit of space. I don't know. I don't know what I could have done other than not be whatever I was for you. I love you, David. I miss you. If you watch this happy anniversary, dear heart, I hope that at some point during the day today you will stop and remember the man that I was five years ago. The man who pledged to be devoted to you for as long as love shall last. And the problem is, is that love still lasts for me. So I am still as devoted to you as I was then. And I wish I weren't. I wish I couldn't be. But I am. Anyway, uh, that's all I have to say for right now. Um, I'll be having a discussion, or should be having a discussion with the potential Chicago roommates sometime today. Um, hopefully that works out and I can say that yes, I have a place to live. Um, so, Thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to leave comments either here or on Fa YouTube or on Facebook. Uh, if you have any comments or questions or anything you want answered in future journals, again, leave comments. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other. Thanks for watching. Bye.